Good morning, Laurel Spartans. I'm Taylor Smith. And I'm Macy Swiner. And we're your WLTV news team. Today is Friday, February 2nd, and it is a day five. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the playing of Laurel's alma mater. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Laurel High, we sing to you our songs of highest praise. Hail our colors bright and true, ever all of our days. To you we praise and glory, our adoration high. We'll cherish thee forever, our dear old Laurel High. Thank you. Please be seated. This February, Laurel's Conservation Club will be hosting Sportsman's Night Out. Let's take a look at more details. Hello, my name is Addison Deal. I'm the president of the Conservation Club, and I will be telling you about Sportsman's Night Out. I don't plan to shave, and it's a goofy thing, but I just gotta say. Sportsman's Night Out will be hosted on February 23rd. The doors will open at 5.30. We will be having Snarf Uncle on the stage at 7 o'clock, the band. And um, the classroom seminars will be Journey on the Fly, PA Boys Outdoors, uh, Muddy Creek, um, and also there will be a $3 donation at the door. There will also be raffles, including Gun of the Year and other bucket raffles. We will also have games, concession, and turtle stew. And don't forget the dunk. Thanks guys, I'm looking forward to it. Hey Taylin, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Of course I am. Let's see if students around the high school are smarter than a fifth grader. Taylin, do you think you're smarter than a fifth grader? Absolutely. Why do you often see lightning before you hear thunder? Because um, sound travels slower than light. Yes, correct. Yeah, you wanna? <gasps> yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> True or false? Is a platypus a mammal? Yes. Yeah, you're right. On the periodic table, what does the letter N represent? Neuron. No, it's nitrogen. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from what country? Gosh, wasn't it like France? Yeah, you're right. Ah! What is the hardest mineral? So I am Confucian. Diamond. Good job. No, you got it right. What planet is closest to the sun? I don't know. Oh, you're <laughs> Gabe, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah. How many letters are in the English alphabet? Six. You're right. Dylan, do you think you're smarter than a fifth grader? I mean, probably not, but hit me. What are the three states of matter? Yeah, I'm not I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> Aiden, do you think you're smarter than a fifth grader? I hope so. Name at least one American president who has been assassinated. John F. Kennedy. Good job. What's the largest ocean in the world? The Pacific. You'd be correct. Which continent is the least populated? Antarctica. Good job. What is the largest river in the United States? The Mississippi River. Good job. Wow, I don't remember fifth grade being that hard. Me neither. This week, Bridget went around the school asking people to finish the lyrics to popular songs. Let's take a look. <laughs> Come with me to see if any of the kids in our school knows any popular lyrics. I wanna be a friend, go shopping in a bins island. Kendra, finish the lyric. Hello? It's me. I was wondering if after all these years. Pazelle. Matter of fact, scratch that. I'ma see you with statues, cause you fine as hell. And I said, well, thank you, baby. Anything for my favorite lady. Well, I gotta go. Just let me know that I can pick up my Mercedes. I'll choke you, but I ain't no killer, baby. (laughs) 
She's just a girl. Turns or claims that I am the one. You once called me forever, now you still can't call me back, and I love Vermont. I love Vermont. Uh, I, I love Vermont. I love PA. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Bridget. This has been your Friday newscast. Remember here at Laurel, we are kind, safe, and, and responsible. responsible.